Okay. Welcome or welcome back. Um, I'm in help of C square. In this example, we look to find the measure of angle one, right? Measure of angle one is given in the form of an expression, and also is another angle given angle two, also as an expression in x over variable. And these two angles are like this, okay? And what else we notice? Here? These two lines are parallel lines. Sometimes you're going to see these signs. That means they are parallel lines. They never intersect. Whenever you have these type of lines, you have also these type of angles, alternate interior angles. Angle 1 and 2 are alternate interior angles. And they are congruent. Alternate interior angles are congruent. Okay, that's what he says. Uh, uh, in this theorem. So basically, now we know if the angles are congruent, they have the same measure. So basically, we have the equation 2x plus 13 equals 3x minus 9, which you're going to solve it. I will subtract 2x, but you may want to do it in a different way. And I will add 9. No choice here, that's the only choice left, x equals 22, which is just the beginning of our problem, right? I mean, we have one more step because you need to find the measure of angle 1. We're going to plug it in. 2 times 22 plus 13. That will be 44 plus 13. That is uh, 50. Seven. The measure of angle 1 is 57 degrees. And that's it. Oh, let me say that. Angle 2 will be also 57. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.